Hey, my name is Matt Storr and I repair saxophones for a living. And today I'd like to show you how I install a Fisher snap-on pad. Actually, not a snap-on pad, how I use a regular pad to install a Fisher snap-on resonator. So here is the pad cup, here is the snap-on resonator, and here is the regular old pad that I'm going to be using. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is make sure that the resonator can fit through the hole in the pad. In this case it can. If it can't, then you use a hole punch to enlarge the center hole. Second thing you do is make sure that the snap itself is round and tight. I use swedging pliers to do this. You don't need much force. These are not very strong and if they if those pedals there uh, if these snap, which they do every once in a while, or they arrive snapped, then you have to replace them. Um, this is one that looks like it may break. Um, but luckily, I have a decent amount of replacement snaps I can use if I need to. Which I've collected over the years, back when they were cheap anyways. Um, okay, so now I've got my pad and my resonator selected for my pad cup. So the next thing I'm going to do is apply shellac to this. Okay, so I'm going to apply shellac in a ring around the edge. You do not want it in the middle. You don't need a ton. The job of holding the pad into the key cup is going to be done mostly by the resonator, by the snap-on resonator. You want the shellac to keep it from spinning and also to give you just a little bit of room to float if you want, if you need to. So about that much. Now I'm going to install the pad into the key cup and I'm going to warm the inside of the key cup. In this case I've got to be careful because that is a hole going through the bottom of the pearl so I need to make sure I don't actually dump any heat down into that hole. And then the way I do it is to place it over the edge and use a drumstick to press down. And if I can, before the shellac cools, going to get it even and flat. And that'll be my starting point for installing this pad. My name is Matt Storr. I pair saxophones for a living. I hope you found this helpful, useful, informative. If you'd like to, you can donate to my Patreon below and find more videos that I've made. Feel free to ask any questions in the comments below. Or send me an email. Give me a call. Thanks for watching. Oh, and also, there's I've done another video on Bisher snap-in stuff. I just didn't show this procedure exactly. Um, you may find that helpful to watch as background as well. Oh, and here's an addendum. You can also use um, parallel pliers carefully to uh, press in a resonator that isn't quite seating with the method I showed earlier. Um, and that'll happen sometimes, especially on the smaller stuff. And also, you don't have to use shellac. There's a pretty good argument for using hot glue in this situation because it's more viscous and won't squirt out the sides as much. And a lot of times this resonator will, you know, squeeze down the center of the pad um, to such a degree that, you know, if you heat up shellac too much, it can squirt out the sides, but it'll do that a little bit less with glue. So I've gotten used to using shellac, um, but I used to use glue. And probably on larger pads, I would go back to using uh, glue as well.